We're just leaving Hartley Pool and uh, we had some trepidations when we were coming into Hartley Pool from the conversations we had along the way. I don't know whether we were expecting something like Beirut or Lebanon and uh, we were clutching all our valuables close to us. But it's been really pleasant. It's been really pleasant and with the battery and the art gallery and the Naval Museum and the museum and also the marinas in the fishing basins it's been a really interesting stop and everybody's been very pleasant and the accommodation we stayed in is some of the cheapest accommodation we've been in but it's right up there it's right up there it's uh, lovely and paul and julie who are the hosts they take hospitality to a whole new level let me tell you pj will put the link to it downstairs um but yeah it's been a, it's been a lovely interlude staying here i think pj would agree that we both enjoy it a lot more than we thought we would. And also everybody seems very friendly. Like everybody's saying hello. And in Liverpool, nobody spoke to us really at all. And here I sat in the park the other day and everybody who went past had a word with me. And uh, it's been very pleasant. Hey, we're off today to Durham and pity me, which is where the Trevathan family hails from. And of course. <laughs> it's uh, coming down cats and dogs. We tried to outweigh it, but it rained solid for three hours and we thought that's enough we'll have to just set out so we're bravely going out into the cold cold moors and we may never get there but i am kind of really excited because at least half the distance today is on a railway a rail trail so you know it's going to probably be lovely and when you look at it from the air it's all covered in trees so the past probably shocking but it'll be lovely to ride through the woods and where are we sleeping tonight charlie we're sleeping in durham times like this I might miss Bahrain and Australia. Don't know why. It was a little damp. And getting to the rail trail was a challenge and the rail trail was possibly the worst one we've been on so far, but it was still great. And PJ may or may not have complained quite a few times, but I didn't let the Kraken pull me down into the abyss. I mean, how can you be unhappy with views like this? We've just reached Shotton Colliery and here is where we're going to head west towards Durham. Charlie's just gone inside to get some snacks. We stopped to eat because it was raining, did a war memorial. Uh, looked like it had been set up for this very purpose. They shall not grow old as we who are left grow old. Age shall not weary them nor the years condemn. In the cold, in the blistering cold, in the chill. We won't get sick because we're tough. You only wear lycra. You can't, if, you, if you're not riding in the six degree cold in lycra then you, d you can't compete if i was wearing lycra everybody would be throwing up on the side of the road as i went past you can see uh i don't get very much but pj gets quite a lot i'm she keeps me on half rations We're at the accommodation called the Queen's Head Hotel for tonight, and it's about two o'clock in the afternoon, so we're gonna head off to Pity Me. It's about 27 minutes away. There, it seems like there's hardly anything of the old town left. So we're going to the oldest pub that's there that's 250 years old. So that definitely would have been there when my ancestors were there.
This is Google Maps basically taking us down a cliff. Let me tell you, it was a cliff. But I make it look graceful. It took us about 15 minutes to get down like 30 metres. But once we got down there, we were riding along the river, it was beautiful. I think they're a bit faster than PJ. So pleasant. There's Charlie sitting in the back like Lord Muck Muck. Yeah, shouldn't you be, shouldn't you be rowing? <laughs> I'll oh. tell you, it's hard to get good help. Grace and poise. <laughs> oh, don't... You can tell you're gonna bring the boat. Here we go. I'm bringing it back. Bringing it back. My butt hurts. <laughs> Nice form. He means business. How pretty is this boat? It's so cute. Charlie was like, let's get the boat. And I was like, no, we're nearly there. Seems to be going a bit quicker than you do, doesn't it? This is called selective photography. PJ cut out all the footage of her rowing into the bank and into other boats, I noticed. Go you good thing. There's something very tranquil about rowing on a quiet river. She just left me. We went to change over and she just off and left me. She's such a horrible person. Mind you, she was so slow rowing that it's better that I get out of the boat. Seem to be going a bit faster now. Yeah. Not mine to Charlie. Shortly after this, PJ rode into a boat and the bank several times. So I've rowed back and returned the boat and I'm waiting for Charlie. He's off exploring on foot because he's a rat bag. We're choosing to walk because it's such a nice streetscape. Yes, it is hilly, but we are choosing to walk. There's Durham Castle and there comes PJ, the Kraken to pull it stone from stone down to its very bones and lay waste. But she may be put off by there's a library over there and also the church. And, and they might throw holy water on her as she's such a monster. We're in the Museum of Durham's archaeology display and it's part of the World Heritage Exhibition or Interpretive Centre here beside the cathedral. Back on the road. This is basically all that's left of Pity Me a pub and a couple of other commercial buildings and one row of terraces. Okay, what a difference a day makes. I mean, yesterday it was kind of miserable, cold and windy and wet. And this morning it's glorious. I mean, it is 10 o'clock and we're a bit late leaving, but we've just done a bit more exploring of the town. And let me tell you, you could spend a lifetime here and not probably find everything that's here. So we're off today and we're going to do a cycle route for about half the, the route 
but we're also going to be stopping off along the way to explore my family history. So yesterday we went out to Pity Me, which uh, after visiting Pity Me, I can see why it's named that. Amazingly, most of it's been knocked down. There's hardly anything of re remaining because of the poor soil. You know, anyway, uh, hopefully it's going to be a lovely day. It started off wonderfully. We just came up a pretty legendary hill out of uh, Durham and uh, we're on cycle route 14. So we're heading off to Bishop Auckland. Woohoo! We're at the start of the rail trail to Barnard Castle. We will be turning off this several times to do some exploratory uh, side journeys, but it's 29 miles to go. Miles, Hamish, not kilometres, okay? How good is this? It's pretty bloody good, that's what it is. Good morning, sorry. That's quite a hill back there. It is, isn't it? <laughs> Okay, my sister Helen has done some really great work in telling me where to go. And basically, one side of my family comes from a place called Crook or Pity Me. Sounds right, Crook or Pity Me. Uh, but they would have probably been buried in this cemetery here because this was the only town of any size. Both Pity Me and Crook still exist, but they're basically being rebuilt because they're on poor ground. So we're just going to have a look for some a grave with Martin written on it. It was hard to find such old graves with the growth over everything. Views are breathtaking. We're in Auckland Castle. My mother, she wrote an email telling me that her grandfather used to deliver here. However, they heard that the Kraken was on their way, so they closed the gates and locked the doors and are not allowing entry. Um, but you know, you can see it from outside, it's directly behind us. And there's also a beautiful market garden across the hill here. Very steep, the hill. I don't think I'd want to be um, going to and from the kitchens to get the stuff. And there's a deer park just down the road. It's very, very idyllic. Well, I've lost the fat man because I'm too slow and we're following the route but it looks like it's going to get a little bit interesting. I believe he's up ahead so if he hasn't turned back we should be able to get through but it's another one of those streets that aren't streets thing. Whew, a lot of hills today. This is challenging bike riding for us. And this is not, this is downhill. Okay, the um, castle in the distance was built in the 1400s and 
it was only been in two families. The first family lost it during the rising of the north, the failed rising of the north in the 1500s. And then since then, it's been with one family all the way through. It's open though, and it used to be moated and everything, but it's not open on Mondays. And today's Monday, which is a pity because we'd go there if it was open and have a look around. Supposedly it's quite spectacular. So Ravy Park and Deer Grounds, yeah, so opened on Tuesdays to Sundays. It's very hilly and busy, this road. I may have heard some stuff from the Kraken about it. Okay, road 688. If you are into going uphill with zero shoulder on a very narrow road full of traffic including trucks, clinging desperately to the handlebars on the very edge of the road, right? Trying to go up the hill but not put too much power in your legs so you don't sway an inch into, into traffic. Where people are so polite that they give you space by swerving into oncoming traffic repeatedly on blind corners with near misses, it's the road for you. Highly recommended. This route, by the way, was chosen by PJ. I haven't looked, but if there is another route, please tell us in the comments below. As you can see, I was very sympathetic to Penelope. We've arrived. And let me tell you, PJ did it hard today. She uh, she really put in, dug deep. Hills are not a friend. They're not my friend either, but PJ really is not even on speaking terms with them. This inn, uh, the room was really small, but the publican was a real publican. He chewed off your ear, and when he finished on that one, he started on the other. Good morning. Look, my hair's, uh, everything's very windy this morning, and this is Barnard Castle. So it's a place my great-grandfather used to do deliveries here. There's not much of the castle left. It's definitely a ruin. Uh, but it's really lovely location, beautiful commanding views. And we're going to go inside and shelter from the wind for a bit. Next time you see what happens when the, the going gets tough. Would you like to meet up? Our contact details are in the description. We'd love to meet you.